In this video, we will learn about another time intelligence function that is called same period last year. So for this, we need to create one measure. The name will be same period last year underscore sales. And here we need to write calculate. total sales and uh, it will be same period last year and it returns a set of dates in the current selection from the previous year same period last year and it takes only dates we don't need to specify any interval So that's it. And uh, now we need to drag and drop. Same period last year. And let me remove the parallel period. See, same period last year. So if we see at the year 2002, we are able to see uh, 6693 and the the previous year is 2001 and this value 3348 uh, is displaying in front of 2002 and, and for the 2003 the previous year is 2002 and you can see 6693 is here if we expand 2002 here you can see we have a uh, january 2002 we have 611 and what will be the value for the two, January 2001 it is blank here if we expand 2002 and you can see we don't have a January month here so we have the only month that is available for the 2001 is is July if we go at uh, 2002 July and here you can see uh, 485 485 is displaying here and if we go at day level for the July and uh, first of July 2002 we have this value and uh, first of July 2001 let me expand this one we have 14,839 14,839 so when we use uh, this for formula of uh, same period last year we can go from uh, year level day level or the month level so that's all about same period last year time intelligence function and i hope you understood that how we can use the time intelligence function in ducks so this is the the last lecture so I wish you best of luck.